Andy Bonnet is lucky he can walk across the room, let alone ride his bike, ski, and climb mountains. Thanks to a new drug, he has gone from dying of cancer in a hospital bed to leading a normal life. He's a young man who had never smoked, led a very healthy life. He developed increasing shortness of breath and pain and was diagnosed with lung cancer in his middle 30s. Under the care of Dr. Ross Kamage of University Hospital's Cancer Center, Andy was switched from old-style chemotherapy to a new experimental drug, crizotinib, which has recently been approved by the FDA for treating specific lung cancers. He was lying in a darkened room in terrible pain, could barely walk across the room. We put him on this treatment and I asked him to, to email me over the weekend. We started it on the Friday and on Sunday he said, I've stopped my painkillers and on Monday he went hiking. I mean, it was just fantastic. It's nearly two years ago and he's still, you know, giving me a lot of cheek and doing very well. What is most different about this course of treatment is that UCH conducts genetic testing on the patient's tumors, which helps the doctors determine which drug is going to be most effective. Chemotherapy and radiation causes terrible sickness and side effects on the patients. The key to success is personalized medicine. Um, the cancers we're starting to find out are as individual as the people who are harboring them. If you take an active role in your care, I mean, I, I really feel that you can alter the course of your treatment and your health. At about $9,600 per month, crizotinib is very expensive right now. Insurance plans vary, but many cover most of the cost. When they don't, the manufacturer, Pfizer, usually works with the patient to make sure they get the treatment they need. This new targeted therapy is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I almost forget that I'm, you know, that I have cancer. Robert D. Tonzing, Colorado Public News.